Good evening, everybody. I think we've heard some very interesting perspectives on uh, the metaverse, uh, fascinating debates. What I'm going to be speaking about is equally pertinent. It's about speed marketing in the age of the metaverse, right? Yeah, so we've, with the metaverse, we've entered a new era of speed marketing. What's speed marketing? Speed marketing is all about high velocity data marketing that translates into high velocity decision making, right? Uh, today's uh, marketers operate in the eye of the storm at every given uh, disruption. And how does speed marketing help? Speed marketing is uh, translating data into insights and insights into action. And the faster you are, the better you get at it. Uh, I remember Jeff Bezos once saying, uh, once saying that uh, it's better to take a decision with 70% of information and data available rather than 90% of uh, information uh, data available much later. So the speed of the decision making is far more important than uh, getting it uh, right a little later. 80% of our CMOs say that data analytics and insights are, are very important to winning and retaining the customers. However, uh, in, a, in a global uh, CMO survey that we had done across categories and industries, we had a fascinating, we uncovered a fascinating insight, you know, wherein uh, most of the CEOs were actually not very comfortable with the data systems that, uh, that they had in place in their organization, right? Yeah, most CMOs agree that direct access to their customer data provides them with a competitive advantage, yet the most marketers aren't very com comfortable about their inside generation ecosystem. Right, top seed marketers actually separate themselves into, high, into five high velocity data capabilities which is accessing real-time behavioral insights, closing the gap from data to action, avoiding data blockers, creating adaptable, agile data systems, and making AI pervasive. Right, if you look at the uh, pie chart on the right, you'll see that 44% of CMOs across the globe, across industries, are not really very confident in their data analytics and insights. How do we, most importantly, how do we drive revenue through speed marketing? Right? Data-driven content, mar data content marketing, in fact, is proven to be far more effective and more agile in nature. If you look at uh, some of the KPIs that some of our CMOs have stated, largely it has to do with content response and engagement and conversion. 67% right? of them actually agree that data-driven marketing helps them in acquiring customers faster. Yeah, how do you access real-time behavioral insights to find answers to critical business questions? The interesting fact here is, Nine out of 10 marketers say that customer data gives them a competitive advantage, but you know, a, a, only a 24% of CMOs are actually confident about, uh, uh, about their data, uh, data systems being highly accessible. And further still, 38% marketers have strong confidence in their data, which actually means that they have not been able to capture a, a data signals at, in real time. Yeah, how do we close the gap then from data to action? Another interesting insight is more than 40% of the top performers describe the amount of time it takes to uh, you know, move from data gathering to actionable insights as immediate. But a whole 60% of them, the other lot, are in fact saying that it's far more difficult to access data at the right time uh, in real time. And it's, it's easier to segment uh, customers. What they're talking about is static customer segmentation when we should be moving into dynamic uh, customer segmentation and creating lookalike audiences. A big impediment in, in this entire process of data maturity, uh, data maturity when it comes to high velocity data, uh, data marketing is avoiding data blockers. How do you avoid data blockers, right? 73% of them actually stated that they don't really have the MarTech tools uh, to, to, uh, to basically uh, churn out insights, right? 60% of them have a lack of uh, data management processes. There's a problem in terms of collating and integrating uh, data marketing systems. Data control actually lies elsewhere is a lot of the people, uh, is what a lot of the people are also saying. The, this is, I think, a, a genuine problem in a lot of the organizations. There's a lot of data that's been processed and that's available, but there's not enough access, right? It lies in the control of specialists or CIOs and not the CMOs. And hence, what's very important is in this time and day and era of consistent disruption is to be able to create adaptable and agile data systems. Now, most CMOs are actually saying that they are not very confident about the ability or the flexibility or the agility of their data systems, data ecosystems, right? And that's because of the fact that 
most uh, data systems exist in silos, and, and the fact that there's not enough collaboration and integration that has happened. We are finally, how do we make AI more pervasive, right? And most importantly, more than being more pervasive, how do you make AI more human, right? How do we kind of uh, get insights, mine those insights, and turn those uh, insights into action? And that, I think, uh, has, been, has been a cause of concern in most, across most organizations in terms of producing value in, uh, in, a, in, in, in most important use cases, right? Uh, there's been a pandemic disruption. There's been a geopolitical disruption with Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Is your system agile enough to handle uh, more queries? Or is your big data system uh, uh, agile enough or capable enough to handle more events that have happened due to the disruptions? And hence, can you pivot your marketing strategy accordingly? Which is, uh, you know, which brings us to this comment by uh, one of our respondents in the CMO survey where he clearly mentioned that it's important to combine, you know, uh, an, for an organization, it's important to combine both data capabilities with the creativity and uh, strategic decision-making ability of a marketer. Because, uh, you know, with AI, we can get into predictive modeling, we can get into campaign planning, we can get into media buying, but what's important is to make the insights more contextual and more purposeful, uh, more purposeful for consumers. That brings back to, you know, the four key tenets that I'd like to highlight here. What's important in this new paradigm? In the age of the metaverse, the most important things are the four tenets that GFK kind of works on. One has to do with data trust. Trust your data, right? And, uh, and select the right signals. Be able to mine the right signals from the noise. Also, the third important point is knowledge and expertise. I think we've all got systems in place, but perhaps we do not, uh, what we do not have is uh, you know, a collaboration and integrated system which helps us to rely on our knowledge and expertise. And finally, always on intelligence. Always on intelligence about, is, is about real-time data mining and having real-time access to uh, what's happening around uh, both the industry and, and the world. Thanks. That's, that's largely from my end. Thank you so much for uh, listening to me.